Hey guys, this is Maduba John for MMJC Designs. Today I'm going to show you guys the new features in Akikad 24. Guys, Akikad is really, really going with as in the speed that we really improve in their on their um, software is just amazing. Guys, every new version of Akikad comes with a new experience. It's something you just want to grab and start using. Guys, I'm going to show you guys the new things Akikad 24 added to what they have before on their what they have before the imp at every everything every time Akikad releases new software, they tend to improve or add some things to make life easy for modeling. Do you get so it 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 makes life easy when you model you, you that's why it's always advisable to move with the trend so don't be left behind so that you don't so that you're not you don't really get uh, confused or you don't get lost when you see the new version of Akika. if you check Akika to Akika the um, 12 15 17 they are about and you open Akika 22 23 and 24 they are so 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 different but this is why you need to you need to move at the pace they move, you need to move at the pace they move. Because there are things that Akikad, the newer version can do, that the older version cannot do. So guys, I'm going to take you through the new new the new features Akikad 24 has. Now, if you're new here, I always post a video tutorials okay, on Akikad. Kindly subscribe to my channel. So that you get notified whenever I post. So, guys, I am going to show you. I, I was actually playing with software to see one or two things. So I thought I should share for those that doesn't have Africa 24, just to know what Africa 24 entails, whether you want to jump on it or not. So, um, I'll start with the actual disabled. The other this equipment. So, equipment we have. Map mechanical electrical and plumbing system, guys. We have a lot of stuff to work with here, guys. For the mech guys, electrical guys, you guys will really enjoy this. Uh, this stuff right there, okay. You guys will really, really enjoy this stuff. I don't know what this is. I really don't know what this is. If you, if you, if I click now, right? I was working on one before. If I click now, you notice that. Look at this um, purple um, hotspot right here. You can, you know, drag this stuff right there. So simply means that you can work with with this stuff so maybe you have to bring in another pipe and you know, start um, tracing the pipes just like that just like that guys so uh, this looks like, like a pumping machine or something really don't know but it's it will be fun for the mech and um, mechanical guys and electrical guys to work with this application so this brings a lot of um, room for collaboration when you have um, the mech guys the, the mechanical guys the electrical guys and the architects you can give the mechanical to work on the same project you worked on you get so you can give the electrical guys to work on the same project to work on. So this is a, a welcome development from that. And then uh, we have we have this new stuff right here opening. Okay, this opening right here. I checked it. It's 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 more like you know we have we have normal opening in window, right? you can just create normal opening but this one right here the difference is that this one you can really work you can work on it 
I'm going to show you what it looks like on 3D. You can, this is it right here. You can, just for for instance, you want to, I, I'm trying to increase it. Okay, and, and you know, normally if maybe you, you don't want the back to be open, normally when you create um, opening, you put a slab to cover it or something, something to cover it. You know? So, but this, this, uh, I think I made it quite easy for us to cover it without going through that stress. All you need to do is come here, right here, and then, um, you choose your length the wall the thickness of the wall is two to five or three hundred I guess so we just put something lesser than that just put one fifty and you are going to go and you are creating something you know in the wall that is not showing at the back so it's it's I feel it's fun if you want to change it to circle you can just change it to circle if you want to change the you want to make it an ellipse or something you can just you know just play, play around with shape guys and you can you can make interesting shape on your wall with this uh, stuff right here you can just spread it just like that just like that I see just spread it just like that just just make something interesting okay so that's for that for that and then you can always maybe you don't want the symbol you don't like that symbol just change it right here change it right here okay okay there are other symbols you can change and i'm i'm, I'm excited to show you uh the objects that that they added okay they added a lot of objects a lot of interesting objects in uh, Africa 24 okay so I'm gonna show you right now what I'm trying to open and if you go to the bed they, they added a new bed like this this is a new bed this is also a new bed very interesting this is it I'm, I'm going to put all some of them out there for you to see what it looks like for those that wants to most people really I, i'm not going to use this kind of bed in my 3d robot it's for, for those that really uses um, articad objects uh, this is for you I, I, I went down with them um, 3d max and then um, most times I download objects standard objects very realistic objects to work on my 3d max guys uh, I have a very very interesting thing to bring out for you for those that are interested in 3ds max rendering I'm going to be creating a video for you but this video I'm going to create is not free the file is going to contain everything that will be on the scene of that train and uh, I'll create a link where you can purchase it it's going to be it's going to be quite affordable and very very explanatory like you are going to learn how to render material the exteriors from start to finish. The, the the textures are going to be there for you to copy and just paste on your work. Guys, let's get back to Archicad. This is a bed the added. I think this looks nice. As you can see this is really really awesome those slides for those that are going to use something like this uh, looks really really nice same here and you can you can I think you can 
adjust the cutting. You can adjust the cutting. As you can see, you can always adjust the cutting, back cutting. You can add cutting, back cutting. So, I can let's see what I can has for us in the future. If you are also going to bring very, very realistic. Uh, Rendering for all something that can beat 3D Max, which I doubt. So, this is quite interesting to see. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be using this object, but it's really a nice uh, thing to see. Uh, you see, there are, there are new objects added. And let's see if they added the new. I think they added this to, and they added this to new ones. If you're conversant with some of these objects, it's, it's always important. It's always important when you open your software, you go through the objects, so you know what you you have in your object in case you're looking for something like that. These are new stuff. These are new stuff. So you don't have to go about modeling these things again. So they, 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 they have it for you right there. So that's that. Let's see, this chair is new. This is new too. Very, very fine chair. This is also new. This is new. I, I think I'm going to also be using this kind of chair. I think I'm going to be using this kind of chair. This too, I think it's something I, I'll, I'll use from Archicad. But it looks nice. So it's something I think I will use on packing card that it looks quite nice. It looks quite nice. But so we have for those that we, that are not using 3D Max, you can still use this one. But in 3D Max, they are better. We have some very nice quality. But Akika, they are really trying what I see here. Okay. And then. We have uh, this. The bed new. And new have different types. And new. This is new too. This is new. This is new. This is, this is a new one. This is fine. I like this for waiting area. Yeah, I will always use this. This is new too. I like this. Quite simple. Straightforward. This is new. I think this is new too. This is new. New. This is new. This is, this is awesome. Guys, this is, this is awesome. I love this. I'm going to also be using this. Maybe when I want to render, I want to do an interior scene for bars. It's a very, very nice chair for bar. This is, this is also this is really nice. I like this a lot. This is really nice. This is this is new too. We don't have this for this is this is awesome guys. Archicad is making life a bit easy for uh, the interior decorators. This is new for the photo that really want to use it. Guys, I'm going to show you yet another exciting to, to see. Um they have uh, as you can see, let's say you have your bed, you have um, blankets, different types of blankets. Guys, this is something that looks like what I'm, I'm likely to use. Take it to Max and render it. It's going to come up really, really fine. Let me see what it looks like in 3D. Let me see. It looks really nice. It looks really nice. Just ap apply texture to it 
it's going to come out really nice. Uh, let me see. This, this is it's a nice. You have goals, different types of goals. Sorry, been there. This, I think this is new glass. Glass cup. We know we don't have glass. <laughs> this type of cups in Africa. So, most cases when we want to when we when we need something like this we create it with a complex profile yes we create these things with complex profile but now Akika just want us to just go into the library and pick whatever we want they don't want us to start to create all over again they just want life visible so we can always use this something I can use this is pillows these are pillows different types of pillows this is something i can still use to very nice pillows looking very realistic from what i see there they have different trays really really nice trays that i would love to use in my chair sense and let's see if we added new thing here let's see So guys, just like I was just what they added, I think it 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 nice makes sense, makes sense to me. I think I'm going to be using there. Makes sense a lot. I think do they do they really have laptop? This is the new laptop. I, I really not noticed this type this one. I know they have a laptop, but not 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 this quality okay so they are doing well with the objects okay like this these are objects we can use for interior scenes in case you want to you want to create an office scene these are stuff you can use okay this is this tool is new yeah, they are objects when you see them, you know it's new if you've been using Archicad for a long time. You know they are new. This is new too. This is new. This is new. This is new. When you see them, you know they are new. That's why it's always good to, you know, browse, go through your Archicad. Even if you don't have anything to do, just go through it. Check whatever they have there. So that you you get conversant with what the what what is there, so that when you want to do a job, you know that you have this in your library. You don't have this in your library. Something you have to create instead of you going going ahead to start creating something that is already there before. A lot of people do not even know that there are a lot of things in Africa that they don't know exist. Do you understand? They don't know that it exists. So you just have to. Um, browse through there is a lot to go through you just have to browse through and check everything at your convenience so that you will know what you have you know your application very very well instead of making life difficult for yourself and wasting time so guys I just thought I should show you what I can have for those that don't have um, I can't 24 yet so it's it really really it's really nice. Uh concerning the model aspect of it, um I don't think there's any difference in uh Africa 22 and 24. But there is this new stuff about the column. Okay, when you create a column, you see the settings of the column, so it's quite different from what you used to have. Now they have segments, guys. Right? You can create different segments like I've worked on. Let me remove them. This is this is how it comes naturally by default. One segment, but you can you can add several segments to it. Okay, and put um, the height to it. Okay, so it simply means that you can work on each, you know, segment. Let's see what we are talking about. For instance, this right here, one, two, three, four. You can see the lines there. So let's say you want to work on this segment. Just click, click. 
the 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 archicad uh, the column okay and this you can work on this segment like this you can increase the the width type whatever you want to type same thing here pick this okay and type whatever you want to type now guys the interesting thing is that if before before we we, we can create this thing with a uh, column and um, slab or we can create it with a um, complex profile also but this one it makes it quite easy that this is this is this is this is an entity this is just one object okay this is just one stuff so it makes it quite straightforward to work with so when you click you see edit you can always edit it work on this too maybe if you want to reduce you use the using center i'm just playing with it i don't know what i'm doing but i'm just showing you what this thing can do see so it's, it's just one stuff one very very fun thing to work with and then there's something else that i want to show you the tape pad size you want it to so let, okay, let me choose this for instance this see it has changed to cycle just like that this one let's use this one okay let's see um it, this it means that the one it, it, it one side will be will be smaller and the other side will be bigger so so i'm going to i want i don't want it to link dimensions so that so that it will be different so if i i will uncheck this and just press for for one day and move that the other way okay and then that will be it and i'll still do this one same thing for one day. okay which one was i working on sorry sorry I, this is this is the bottom this is the top sorry guys this is the bottom this is top so it's actually important we link we link it okay you can even swap instead of changing you can swap it so let's just see the first result for this okay, this is the result we have for what you just did okay if you can you can do it with this okay the bottom form red and the it's actually, it's actually good to link it okay that was a mistake in my part so you can you know you can just do some interesting thing i think i just made it easy for us and what else would I like to show you and yeah that's that for that let's see what the circular one looks like so you see you can use a um, complex profile tool to create this one since it is around and I think you can also use complex profile tool to create the this one Yes, you can use complex profile to create it. Complex, we can actually use complex profile to create all this, all these things. This shape itself, you can use complex profile. I think I just want to add fun to what they are doing. So I think it's a good one. It's a good one. 
so guys thank you for watching this is not a tutorial i'm just showing you guys the new features packet card have in packet card 24. um thanks for watching i'm going to post tutorial in my next one and i want you guys to also anticipate the 3ds max rendering anticipate for those that are interested in 3ds max indicate in the second comment section below so i would know if you're interested and if you want me to really go put it step by step on how to get a, a proper rendering exterior or interior rendering it's not going to be free guys this, this these are content that cannot be free you, you this is this is just a way to support my channel to support my work so thank you so much for watching I remember the bad john i will see you in my next one